Rose family, it's your girl Serenity Rose, and we are back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a vanity tour slash makeup collection for the year of 2020 before I continue my declutter series. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so where do I start? So this is my vanity. Again, my boyfriend just got it. Um, it comes with two drawers. It's white and this is a glass top. Um, so let's start from the left and what's on top before we get into any drawers. And then right next to my vanity is my drawers. So yeah, let's start over here. Okay, so here I have all my dirty brushes and sponges that I need to clean, that I use when I'm doing my makeup. And then right behind that, I have this little crate that holds all my palettes. I did have them in a drawer, but the drawer got too heavy, so I decided to take them out. And this way I could see them all. So I have my Morphe Jaclyn Hill, the original palette, my 3503 palette. Um, this is the Profusion, I want to say Starlet palette. I have a Z palette, my ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. Currently, everything's a little jam tight in here, so if I could take one out, then I might be able to move some around. So I have my Morphe Manny MUA palette, a Makeup Revolution, Ciate London, a Fenty Beauty palette. Uh, I want to say this is the Tarte Remix palette. Um, this Tarte sizzle eyeshadow palette um some juvia's place some ace beauté uh, color pop storybook cosmetics hank and henry wet and wild some more wet and wild those there um these are from face candy if i'm not mistaken some dose of colors uh laura lee los angeles uh, what's next? AOA Studio. I think this is Too Faced. Yeah, Too Faced. Natural Eye Matte one. Um, Pretty Vulgar. Uh, Dominique Cosmetics. This one is really good. Grandioso palette. I think that's Ace Beauté. Yeah. Um, Violet Voss Essentials 1 and 2. Uh, what is this? Soeva, Morphe, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. So that's all I have for palettes. Then I have some press on nails that are on display. Really, really pretty. Um, and here I did declutter this already. Just the lipsticks and lip glosses. Not my serums or anything. So in this drawer I have all my lipsticks. Bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, stuff like that. Then in this drawer, I have my glosses, which once I'm done with these, I'm probably never going to purchase lip gloss again. You will see why in a second. Um, and here I have some random stuff like a PayPal card and then a band-aid. And then I have some more like bullet lipsticks that I regularly, regularly reach for. And then I have some lip glosses from my brand that I have made myself my impressions vanity mirror and then some serums and some random stuff like a sharpener from ColourPop, um the beauty blender soap a uh, cream blush that i hate um and then all of these serums that i need to go through and then right here i have a toner essence toner thing um right here i have some samples of products that i have on my site for myself whenever i make big batches and there's a little bit left over i will throw some in a container to keep for myself these are also like the travel size that i sell on my site i do have bigger sizes these are the 5 ml containers i do have 20 milliliter containers as well hey um so here i have pens and this spf 30 thing that i need to throw out because it's trash and then I have a little calendar here with my scheduled upload videos and then my computer with my logo as my background because I think it's so sleek and pretty. And as you can see, I love pink. I have a pink keyboard, a pink marble mouse pad, a pink mouse, and my actual gaming like tower is pink. My boyfriend built it for me. Um, so yeah, that's everything on top of my actual vanity. So let's get into the drawers. 
So this video is most likely going to go up after I organized my vanity when I first got it. So it's going to look a little bit different because I did add a few things. So in the back, I have my Insta, Insta camera album thing. And I just keep that there. And then in here... I have my lip products, so lip liners that I'm using. These are my everyday makeup products that I'm going through for the next couple of months. Um, so everyday like lip products. And then here, I decided to just throw all my lip balms in here because they were taking up like unnecessary space in my like storage unit. So all of my lip anything, like lip balms, lip scrubs, lip sleeping mask, lip oils, lip conditioners are in this one container because I usually pop them on right before I'm about to do makeup. Um, next, I have my setting spray. So I have this pearlescence coconut and rose makeup setting mist. And then the fourth ray beauty fresh AF mist. It's like a refreshing mist. And then I have my concealers in here. Um, so I have the L'Oreal full wear, infallible full wear. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer, CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and the Makeup Revolution Super Size Concealer, all really good full coverage concealers. And here I have like tools. So I have some exfoliating pads. A clean sponge is just stained, but it is clean. Eyelash glue, tweezers, uh, eyebrow razors, and scissors. And then here I have makeup remover wipes. Some of the lashes that I'm currently wearing or going through, these are my brand, the Style Reina. I freaking love these. Super wispy. Um, some tape and then a lip line corrector that didn't fit in my little container over here. So in the second drawer, I have my highlighter palette for Makeup Revolution which looks like that. Really, really pretty. I freaking love this thing. Then I have my everyday palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Warrior 2 palette. Which looks like this really pretty everyday colors. And then I have a bronzer palette from Ace Beauté that I got in BoxyCharm. This is their Bronzed in Paradise palette. And it has four shades. And I love this palette because I can use all four of them. Okay, so after those palettes, I have my everyday... Okay, everything in here is everyday makeup, so I'm going to stop saying everyday. But I have my foundation, so ColourPop, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. <sighs> Sorry for the background noise. Um, I have my Makeup Revolution Casino Define. I use this as cream contour. Then I have the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation, L'Oreal True Match. And in here I have a mixture of the Maybelline foundation and the ColourPop one because it's a perfect match when I mix them together. Then next to that I have primers, so Rimmel, Juice Beauty, Makeup Revolution, and L'Oreal. Then right next to that I have some moisturizers. So I have one from Pond's, one from Makeup, Re Makeup Revolution, one from Saturday Skin, one from CEO Riley, and one from... H2O Beauty and then right here on the side I have some face palettes like bronzer highlighter palettes so this one is from Laura Geller it's a highlighter trio these two are both from Wander Beauty this one is a blush and highlighter trio and then this one is a blush and bronzer duo so then over here I have some blush highlights and bronzers so I have the Rimmel, Maxi Blush, Beige Cosmetics, Bronzer, I think this is a Buxom Blush, yeah, and then I have the Physician's Formula Butter Highlight, which is bomb. So then, right next to that, I have Face Powders, Pressed and Loose, so I have my e.l.f. Pressed Powder, my Rimmel Translucent Pressed Powder, Too Faced, Ethereal setting powder jcat lux pro powder and banana and then my aoa studio perfect setting powder and banana as well and then right next to that i have some eye products so like mascara i have milani and then what is this Too faced Too faced damn girl mascara and then i have eyeliners so milk makeup uh, essence hank and henry 
Um, then I got some eyebrow products. So I have two pencils, one from AOA Studio, one from Morphe, a e.l.f. setting brow gel, a eyeliner from what is this? Too Faced or Tarte? A eyeliner from Too Faced or Tarte? Um, a nude liner from ColourPop. And this is my e.l.f. brow pomade. A single shadow from Hakari and eyeshadow primer. So that is everything in this second drawer. So that's everything as far as my vanity goes. So let's move on over to my drawers. So right on top, I just have my glasses and then all of my clean brushes. And of course my gaming PC, which I'm obsessed with. I love that it's see-through and it's like literally all pink. Um, but these are all of my clean brushes. So yeah, I need to do a brush declutter. Don't come for me. Okay, so my first drawer has setting sprays. So I got this one from TJ Maxx. Uh, Makeup Revolution, Elf, Latte, I have Morphe, uh, MAC, Iconic London, the Urban Decay All Nighter, Makeup Revolution, Pixie, and then right next to setting sprays, I have primers. So I have Elf, uh, No Touch and Soul. Benefit Professional, one from Avon, Maybelline, I really like this one, and then a Tarte one, it's their Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Primer, and then right next to the primers I have moisturizers, I have a CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion for Nighttime, a Kopari like Coconut Oil Face Cream, I have a Serum Stick from Olay, I have the Olay Total Whip Moisturizer, some It Confidence in a Cream, Dove, Pixie Beauty, H So Skin Drink, one of my favorite ones. And then this one is from ColourPop. Uh, what is this? The Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. Really good. And Hydrating. Okay, so back here I have face powders. I'm not going to be able to pull them all out, but I know what they are. So this is Collab, which you could get at Sally's Beauty. This one is LA Colors, if I'm not mistaken. Makeup Revolution, two Maybelline Fit Me's. Uh, this is the Becca Hydra Set Refresh one that feels like water. This one is Palladio. This one is Ciate London. I have a MAC one back here, a ColourPop Pressed Powder, Makeup Revolution Loose Powder. Oh, what is this one? I have a pretty vulgar one back there. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This one is Laura Mercier. I have a Shop Miss A Pressed Powder. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Full Coverage Pressed Foundation. And this, I believe, is another Makeup Revolution Pressed Powder. So that is everything in my first drawer. So moving on to my second drawer, I have foundations and concealers so i have believe beauty nars maybelline fit me maybelline super stand a different shade covergirl healthy elixir vitalist uh, what is this wet and wild original foundation the mac studio fix fluid foundation the anastasia beverly hills foundation i have a little sample of the tarte amazonian clay foundation um aoa studio aoa studio and then under these, I have, what is this? I have the Elf Foundation, Avon Flawless, the Maybelline Dewy, the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, another Wet n Wild Original Foundation in a different shade, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, and then a Maybelline super better skin foundation and then back here I have some foundations that I know for sure like don't really match me or that I don't really reach for so I have the LA girl pro color foundation mixing pigments um, the regular foundation in a shade that is way too light obviously actually this foundation is really good I don't know why it's back there the next born to glow foundation the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation, 
another makeup conceal or yeah conceal and define fun yeah conceal and define foundation pure lace bb cream uh color pop foundation that is not my shade the one i have in my everyday drawer is medium 12 w i think or 12 n uh this is 10 n is bit too light becca fenty beauty and cover girl true matte or matte made true blend that foundation so then for concealer i have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, AOA Studio, ELF, ColourPop, a whole bunch of L'Oreal ones, more ELF, Morphe, LA Girl, Milani, Conceal and Perfect, the new Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer, NYX, Tarte Shape Tape, Maybelline Age Rewind, um, Beach Cosmetics, and more AOA Studio. So that is everything that I have in my second drawer. Okay, I'm trying to rush through this because my phone is on 7%. So this is Brush Blonzer. This is brush, bronzer, highlight, and face palettes. So I have some Wet n Wild, Essence, Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution, Wet n Wild, and ColourPop. This is more like bronzer section. So Wet n Wild, Iwi Studio, Iwi Studio, uh, what was this? Like the Beauty Crop something? Yeah, the Beauty Crop, I have a Morphe bronzer, uh, W7 bronzer, NYX bronzer, Makeup Revolution, Anastasia, NARS, and Wet n Wild. And then for highlighter, I have the Cover FX Glitter Drops, Artist Couture Loose Highlighter, AOA Studio, AOA Studio, Daisy Pearl on the bottom. What is this? Becca. I have Ofra, uh, Aoi Studio, Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife, ColourPop, Disney Collection, Wet n Wild, uh, Makeup Revolution, Maybelline, and then Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter. And then over here I have, is this Tarte? I have Tarte, Space Case. Fenty Beauty, The Balm, Wet n Wild, Phase Zero, ColourPop Blush, Tarte, Ciate London, Steve Laurent, Ofra, Laura Geller, Elf, and Anastasia Blush Trio. This is a Too Faced um, like diamond highlighter which is really pretty if I can open it the packaging is really pretty I just don't like the actual shade and then in the back I have a whole bunch of face palettes so I have the beach cosmetics spotlight six pen highlighting palette morphe bronzer and highlighter palette I have a beach cosmetics four pen blush palette I have the koki cosmetics powder contour palette which is like supposed to be a dupe for the Kat Von D really really pretty then I have the NYX highlighter and bronzer palette this is also really pretty that's what it looks like really really pretty And then I have this Kenya on Diveros Beauty Blush and Shine Kit. I believe I just recently got this. I believe I recently just got this in a boxy charm. It comes with three highlighters, three blushes, really, really pretty shades. And that is everything I have in this drawer.
so down here once again i'm not gonna get into depth with every single product that i have you will see when i do my declutters but over here i just have some backups uh that foundation doesn't match me probably gonna throw it in the giveaway backup of my favorite lash glue eyebrow pencil concealer setting spray and another becca hydra mist setting powder so in the first one i just have all my brow products so just to name a few, I have the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim, um, a whole bunch of AOA Studio Backups, Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil, another AOA Studio, LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, Makeup Revolution, AOA Studio, CoverGirl, and then another AOA Studio. And then I have the Brow Bar Kit by Rima, really good. Some brow pomades. Um, I have a backup for my Airway Studio one, Airway Studio, BH Pro Cosmetics, and a little Benefit Brow Set Gel type of thing sample. Oh, and I have a, a Mellow, a Mellow Cosmetics Brow Tinted Gel. So right next to that, I have lip pencils. Let me just grab a handful so i have la colors there's color pop in there some maybelline wet and wild some good drugstore ones um what is this ella masco makeup revolution mm, contour cosmetics becca um, milani jante blue and more AOA Studio. Hey, go in your right drawer. So right next to that, I have eyeliners and glitter liners and colored liners and pot liners. So I have LA Colors. Oh, what is this? Kat Von D, Smashbox, Hard Candy, was that pink one? Essence. Um, John T. Blue, Rimmel, Rimmel, Scandalize, Colourpop, Sugar, and then the pots, I have LA Girl, LA Studio, and Wet n Wild. I still have this glitter liner from NYX, I believe. Is this from NYX? Yeah, from NYX. Really, really pretty. And then I don't have that much mascara, so I have... W7 Show Up Mascara, AOA Under Lash Mascara, Essence Mascara, ColourPop BFF Mascara, um, what is this? Wander Beauty High Club Mascara. I have a lash serum from L'Oreal. And I think this is a Grande Cosmetics Mascara. So that is everything I have in my fourth drawer. So in my fifth drawer, I just have all my tools, lashes, some random stuff there, and then bulk packages of lashes and a big bar of soap for my sponges. So the majority of my lashes are from Ailey Studio, some Lashaholic, Dodo Lashes, Red Cherry Lashes, and some from Amazon. And this Ailey Studio like brush cleaner, some powder puffs that I'm never going to use, some compact mirrors tape, brushes, eyelash curler, a whole bunch of tweezers and scissors, and Fenty Beauty blotting powder. That's everything in that drawer. So in my six drawer is looking quite empty because I did have all my eyeshadow palettes in here, but now I have my backup clean sponges here, and then all my single, oop, and then all my single shadows and eyeshadow primers and glitter shadows and liquid shadows and pigments here. So yeah, I have a little bit of everything in this drawer. There's some Balm, Ipsy, Naked Cosmetics, ColourPop, e.l.f., Primer, Hikari, um, Elizabeth Mott. I love this freaking primer, Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, and yeah, that's it for that. And last but not least, I have skincare. So I have all my sheet masks here on this side, 
some beauty gummy bears, some glow recipe mask, um, just the watermelon one, just the avocado one. Um, what is this? What is this? Some pharmacy mask, um, eye cream, eye cream, facial wash, first aid beauty, um, Dr. Brandt, some little tubes back here, Grace and Stella, Generation Clay, what is this, I have a hair mask, my exfoliating pads, some, some backup brush heads back there, a peel off gold mask, and um, yeah, that's everything in that drawer. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my makeup slash vanity tour collection. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we go. I would love to have you guys join the bros family. And please don't forget to check out my site. My website where I will be selling lashes, lip glosses, press on nails, and all the above. <laughs> And on that note, I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.